Hi, welcome. In light of today's sacking on the 14th of October 2022 of Kwasi Kwarteng's removal as Chancellor, I just thought I'd highlight the last month within politics in relation to what I've followed and, as it would turn out, would be a kamikaze move that would cost Kwasi Kwarteng his job. 17 days ago on the 27th of September, I had highlighted the highly suspect mini-budget that Kwasi Kwarteng had initiated within Parliament. It turns out that, in the end, as I've highlighted on the previous videos within this channel and other online networks, that I felt at the time it was a suicidal budget, hence why I coined it Kamikwazi. You can actually see I've even got a picture there when I had covered the Queen's death, that you actually see that Kamikaze in itself is 33, and you can see Kwasi Kwarteng along with other members of the government. In truth, I had long suspected that he wouldn't last long within the job due to the fact that he had not said enough to actually reassure the markets or even the public in relation to what his big ideas were. And as I will quickly allow Sky News to just give a breakdown on this man's quick exit from the job, it's no surprise that there's other members of government that I covered last year that also lost their job shortly after I made an upload exposing their lies. That person was Matt Hancock when he was pretending to cry on the TV in relation to the whole tragic COVID situation that I've already covered on other uploads. It would so happen that a month after I made that upload, he would be sacked. On this occasion, it would be for the sleaze in relation to affairs that were appropriately captured on camera by the powers that be that decided he had to be removed because of the further embarrassment that he had caused to the government. So there you go in terms of just a quick rundown of what my channel's all about in relation to helping you, the public, see what this world is for what it is in relation to many calamitous situations that really could have been avoided. Thanks. Quasi Kwarteng should Liz Truss resign. His rise through the party came almost as quickly as Quasi Kwarteng's downfall. The Chancellor who wanted to challenge the status quo, cut taxes and boost growth. We need a new approach for a new era. Focus on growth. Quasi Kwarteng dared to do what his predecessors hadn't. I'm not going to cut the additional rate of tax today, Mr Speaker. I'm going to abolish it altogether. But it was a mini-budget just two weeks into the job that set in motion the Chancellor's downfall. It was a brief episode of uh, total chaos, and he does look as though he is the scapegoat carrying out her instructions or acting on her advice. That, that's not a good position to be in. He was elected to Parliament in 2010 and quickly rose through the Tory ranks, becoming business secretary under Boris Johnson and the first black MP to serve as a Secretary of State. Kwasi Kwarteng was never afraid of upsetting the party. Are you round, Rishi Sunak? In Cabinet, he reportedly clashed with the Treasury. When he became Chancellor himself, Kwasi Kwarteng began to push ahead with his bold vision for the economy. With grit, with drive and with determination, we can meet the challenges of this new era. He insisted his plans weren't the cause of market turbulence. What's the next U-turn, Chancellor? But Kwasi Kwarteng will be blamed by many for a budget based on unfunded tax cuts that brought a record fall in the value of the pound and accused of trashing the Tory record with the economy. And you'll be Chancellor and Liz Truss will be Prime Minister this time next month? Absolutely, 100%. I'm not going anywhere. Only recently, he insisted he'd stay in the job. But today, after becoming one of the shortest serving chancellors, Kwasi Kwarteng has returned to the back benches. Rarely have a Prime Minister and Chancellor been so closely aligned. Rarely has a political career unravelled so quickly.
Listen. You're in a privileged position to learn a thing or two. Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. Everybody be cool. You.